Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is the second episode. I'm going to take you through the uh, uh, flight, takeoff, and, um, and exit routines for uh, a port. We're currently docked in the hangars at uh, Dean Dean Hub. I've got, as I said in the previous episode, uh, my course is already plotted in. But I thought I'd take you through very, very quickly how to exit a port. Okay, without further ado, I'm using the standard keyboard mappings. I'm flying by mouse. I've got a three button mouse, uh, left to right click, and a central uh, tracking wheel in the, in, the, in the middle, which I can click as well. Um, using all the standard keyboard settings that come with the game. The only addition is that I am using voice attack uh, in the form of Holly. Holly. Awaiting orders. Um, and. Um, when I give her commands, hopefully if she listens to me properly, I can um, actually get her to do stuff and help me along the way. So uh, I will do an episode on voice attack and how to get it set up and everything, but I'll do that in, in a, a later episode. Okay. So, so the first thing we want to do is launch. So we, we cycle through this menu option in front of here. First thing you must uh, suggest you do do is make sure that you have put in a uh, place that you want to go unless you're just practicing of course um, so we you do that through the uh, galaxy map option here um, wait until you get that galaxy map hi highlighted and then press the space bar you go to the place that you want to uh, navigate to so in this case I want to go to Eutanes um, click on it uh, you say select it or get me there in the quickest manner um, so once that's locked in you see it's a two hop jump it, with the current settings that I've got so I've got to jump twice to get from um, uh, point A there to point B um, so we're all set up we're all uh, ready to go so um, use the uh, W and the S keys to cycle through these options here. Uh, highlight the launch button and press the space bar. Now you see the uh, central display has changed to show uh, the landing pad. And uh, we're waiting for the clamps to be released. This is the spaceport here that we can see around us. And now what I normally do is I just normally pr press R to take you up. I usually then uh, turn to try and get to the right hand side. You see there's a little yellow dot there, right hand side of the port. I then turn back, I line up using the A key to, to rotate and then I raise my landing gear remember on the landing gear is indicator is on the right hand side of the screen you see you've got the uh, landing gear um, lit there so I'm going to tell Holly to raise the gear so gear up Holly gear up gear up gear up landing gear tucked away and then I'm going to press the W which will move me forward Likewise, the S key will slow me down or move me backwards. I'm going to check there's nothing coming out through the uh, spaceport, no other radar signatures, and I'm going to exit. And there we are. We're out in open space. Now we plotted our course. Remember I said there was that little sniper thing there? Um, in the second or third panel from the right looks like a, a scope. We want to head in direction. You see now on the heads up display we've got it plotted on the um, screen in front of us. Uh, ICZ AQX81 3. It's 13 light years away which would take us one year to get there uh, traveling at full speed. Uh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to jump into hyperspace we're looking at that mass locked indicator on the right hand side underneath the fuel bar for that to go out which means that we're in clear space there's no objects around us and 
will enable us to jump into hyperspace. There it's just gone out. So now I'm going to um, jump into hyperspace. Uh, I'm going to try and get Holly to do it for me. Engage. Engage. Engaging hyperdrive. See the charging indicator that needs to go all the way up to the edge. Um, powering the engines up. Get a countdown, we start to edge into hyperspace. And we're off. So now this is time frame shift, I think, or frame shift drive is, is the terminology that's used within the game. Uh, forgive me, I call it hyperspace, alright? So, you come in very close to the sun. And again, remember that target? We want to get that in the middle, which is our next jump. And this tells us that we're lined up now. And we can now tell Holly again to engage. Engage. I don't know why Holly's not working as well. I think it's because I'm recording at the moment and um, maybe there's a lot more noise going through the system. Oh, things aren't working as they normally do. Normally Holly's very, very receptive to the commands that I give her. So again, we've arrived in the system, we want to get away from the star before we burn up. We've got a proximity alert up at the top middle screen, because we're too close to the sun. And the temperature was going up, it's now going down again, so uh, that's good. And now we want to set our target, target for the space station. At the moment we've got no target set, so uh, what we need to do is look at the other screen. So I'm going to look over here and use the um, uh, D key to get into this section here and then press the space bar once I highlight the destination I want to go within the star system. I want to go to the Parkinson dock. It's 92 light, 96 light seconds. I'm heading away from it so let it get it locked in and there we go. The target comes up. It says I'm heading away because it's black. Coming back towards it, there it is. Now we're in super cruise mode at the moment. We're not in normal space. It's like an intermediary space between um, hyperspace jumping and um, standard space travel. We see we are 57 light seconds away and it's coming down. Um, you will see on the right hand side of the, sorry, left hand side of the screen, uh, the panel has changed over there. We've got Parkinson Dock at the top. We've got alignment. Yes, we're in line with the destination that we're going to. We need to get the distance indicator into the blue there. And we need to get the speed that we're traveling at into the blue and then we'll be able to drop out of super cruise mode into normal space and enter the space dock. So one of the ways, the best ways to do that is to increase your throttle which is the W key until the central console bar turns blue. Watch, you'll see it go. Now, that's automatic mode so what the computers on the system will do will try and um, try and match your speed and the distance to get you in that sweet spot in the blue so you can drop out of um, super cruise mood and into standard space travel mode. I will do a whole, um, a whole episode on the um, radar in front of you and what that's showing you. See all those objects which are turning left and right. That's just giving you a, a location of objects in the system, including other spacecraft and planets and um, 
people uh, in other spaceships. Uh, but I'm not going to go through that now. And they've got both into the blue, so it's safe to uh, disengage. Disengage. Disengaging hyperdrive. And here we are at another space station. This one's called Parkinson Dot. It's an Orbis Starport, which is this particular type. The other one we saw was like a, um, a gaming dice, wasn't it? And what I need to do in order to get into here is, first of all, request permission to dock with the system. Again, I can do that through the left-hand panel over here. Go over to Contacts. Um, make sure that the Parkinson dock is highlighted underneath with the name. Press Enter. And then use the... Um, W and the S key to select request docking. Docking request granted. You see now on the uh, central panel there, we've got proceed to landing pad 35, and I've got 9 minutes and 50 seconds counting down to get in board. Otherwise, um, I'll be in trouble. There's the docking port. Tip for keep your speed right down. Try and get into the middle. All stop. Understood. Hold on. And then I'm using my D key to rotate me around. I need to I'm too high so I need to drop down. I'm gonna use the F key to go down and lining up slowly but surely see another craft is coming out I don't want to collide with him it's obviously not obeying the one way system I need to get into docking bay 35. Now the way I do that is as I'm coming into the spaceport, I look to see where it is and I rotate so it's below me and then I point my nose down at the ground, tell Holly to drop landing gear, landing gear down. Copy. And then slowly but surely I use the F key combination of the F key and the forward motion to um, get me on the ground. This is a really, really bad example. So I'm skid across the pans there. This is a new craft. <laughs> I'm not making excuses. This is a new craft. I'm not used to flying it. But uh, that was a really poor and <laughs> terrible um, uh, landing. Sorry, Holly. Holly. Just a sec. Yes, sir. God, you've got so much attitude. Um, what's rule number five? Rule number five. Without fuel, pilots become pedestrians. All right, and rule number six. What's rule number six? Rule number six. Speed is life, but altitude is life insurance. And rule number seven. What's rule number seven? Rule number seven. Flying is the second greatest thrill known to man. Docking is the first. Yeah, and docking successfully <laughs> is the first. Uh, that wasn't a very successful dock, but there you go. You've seen all the way uh, from one spaceport to another. I uh, talk you through some of the controls and how I use them and how to navigate. So I hope that is enough for this episode. Uh, if you like the episode, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, please. Give me some feedback as to what you would like to see and, uh, and everything. Remember, this is a guide for people starting out in the game. If you've already been playing a bit, you may think, oh, what a load of nonsense. I don't do it like that, which is fine. 
leave comments, let us know uh, how you do do it. Um, and that guy does not look happy. I thought I had a bad landing. But <laughs> He's having a bad day, isn't he? Look at that. He better hurry up because um, if he doesn't get out, they will blow him up. Right, enough of this episode. Uh, say goodbye, Holly. Holly, say goodbye. Say goodbye, Holly. Bye, everyone. <laughs> She's usually more responsive than this. I don't know. I think it's something to do with the microphone setup um, for recording an episode. So, anyway, uh, that's all for now. Um, see you in the next episode.